Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and 10xpatientreferrals.com. And in this video, we answer a real tough question that a lot of our clients are asking. A lot of people are actually looking everywhere. And the question is, you know, how much do I charge for my services for my home care business? So, you know, it's a tough question, right? And here's here's one thing you should not do when you're char you know, how much on how much you should charge your home in your home care services, right? You should never be the lowest priced person. Okay. Um, because companies that charge the lowest price never stays for a long time, right? Because the thing is, you just not, don't have cash flow coming in with your company. So, you know, I'm seeing like home care companies that are charging like $15, $16 an hour for services. And that just totally baffles me because I'm like, how much are you paying your caregivers? And if you're, you know, if you're charging that much and you're paying your caregivers really, really low, like nine, ten dollars, you have, you, you know, you, you're going to have a high turnover rate for your caregivers, for your employees, because they're going to go to the next company that can give them a patient, but then pay them fifteen dollars, you know, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars with better benefits. Okay. So, you know, um, and the truth is, I'll be honest with you guys, most of the time as we've seen, and, you know, if you're not in this business yet, you're going to see it. You're going to see some home care companies that do some shady stuff and unfortunately are, you know, are hiring illegals. Um, and look, listen, you know, I, there's nothing, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm glad that they're providing jobs, but here's the thing. If you're going to be providing jobs for people, pay them right for the services that they have. Right. And just imagine, you know, the cash flow, um, you know, so. I want to, want to talk about illegals. I'm talking about people that are not authorized to be able to work into this country. Just to let you guys know, you know, more power to people hustling and want to be able to provide, you know, for their family and everything. But if you're a company, you should not take advantage of people that way, right? So, um, it, and if you're just trying to get the money by just charging 16 to try to, you know, bottom load things, that's really, really bad, right? And so, um, you know, if you're not able to charge a higher rate, you know, um, there's a potential chance that your business is not going to maintain as much. Now, MetLife, for example, if you guys know what MetLife is, it's an insurance company. Um, they actually um, uh, provide a, um, a yearly uh, printout of the average uh, pay for home care services depending on the city and state that you live in. And so that's, that's something that you can actually get through the MetLife website or you can just do a MetLife home care services PDF, do a search, something like that online. Um, and it should normally pop up uh, every now and then um, if you want to be able to look for that. Um, but what we're really seeing a lot in the ranges that we see of, of, of average agencies is between the rate of about $19 to about $29 for services, okay? And if, if you like look at, for example, if you call around, and you should actually do this as a company, is, is do what you call a competition matrix. And what I would do is I would call, call cold call home care companies in my area that I'm going up against. And I would actually say, hey, how much are your services? Oh, I, I have a grandma who's actually moving in uh, next month, and I just want to be able to know how much the services are. You do something like that, you know, do bring out your acting skills. And, you know, they'll tell you what the rates are. And that's an amazing thing is to be able to know what you know, you're competing against. Um, but where we're seeing it like a, a lot is between the, you know, the 19 to the $29 range, you know, for, for my organizations, we actually go after clients that can pay the higher rate. So we, we put up our rates at around $27, $28, but then there's a way to be able to discount that. And the way we discount that is through do, if we tell a client, Hey, you know what, if you do 32 hours a week or more, we can, we can drop down the pricing by a dollar. If you want to do pre-billing where we bill you a week ahead of time for the services, we'll drop off another dollar. You know, if you want to pay, for example, one month ahead of time, then, you know, we can drop off two dollars. So there's ways to kind of lower the rates if, if, the, if the money is where the patient or the client is really stuck at. That's their main objection. Now, just let you guys know when in sales, I'm just going to give you guys a quick tip. You know, it's never just about the money. Right, because remember, people are willing to buy a Louis Vuitton purse for thousands of dollars when you can buy a, a, a equally good leather, you know, a leather bag for maybe a hundred dollars. Right? It, it's the perception of the services, perception of the product. Right? So, you know, we teach it in, in 10xpatientreferrals.com and in our consulting for our clients how to be able to make a person look at your product as better than the others. And that's by providing, you know, better services and more programs and services 
than the other agencies out there or the perception of that, right? So, you know, you guys have to understand is that how much should you charge? And in the end, it's going to be your choice, okay? Um, it's your choice on what you want to do. Um, for us, for example, we go after the higher end patients um, because they're able to pay, right? And, you know, we want to provide services for everybody. I mean, I feel bad for people that need home care services, you know, but they can't afford, you know, even $15 an hour. You know, when, when somebody says, you know, you know, that's out of our budget, guess what? The truth is, before you decided to find services for your mom or your loved one, this was never in your budget. All of a sudden, now you have to pay for that. So even $5 is over your budget, $10 is over your budget. I totally understand that it's out of your budget, but let me see and show you what we do for your loved ones and why you should use our company. So you have to be able to know how to handle an objection, how, be, how to be able to handle when somebody says it costs too much or it's out of our, um, you know, out of our, I'm trying to think of the word right now, uh, it's out of our budget, for example, right? So you have to be able to know and figure that out. So, um, and also remember, figure out how much you're paying your staff, right? If you're paying your staff $15 an hour, you know, you have to have at least a minimum of a $5 gap. That's what I always say. So if you're if you're paying your staff $15, you better be charging a minimum of at least $20.21, right? Remember also, even if you have a $5 gap, when you have a business, you have to pay taxes. So even if your profit is at $5 per hour, you're really only going to be able to keep about $2.50 of that. Um, so and don't forget your exp your monthly expenses, your staff expenses in the office, all these different things that you need to pay for, right? So you know you want to be able to start paying attention. Um, a good number to really look into, especially if you're starting off and you still feel weird to charge higher rates, um, like some of my companies do. Um, then you can look at and stay around twenty-two to about twenty-three to twenty-four dollars an hour. You can put yourself into that realm, um, and it will still kind of put you below what, like for example, the franchise companies are charging out there, like the Visiting Angels, the Home Watch Caregivers, you know, because they're they're always charging somewhere around between twenty-four, twenty-five, and even up, right? So, choosing the right pay scale is also there for you. Also remember one thing is this, is that, you know, some states, they have rules and laws in regards to overtime. So, you know, if you're charging, for example, somebody $20 an hour and you're paying the staff $15, if all of a sudden you can't find a replacement for that staff and they have to end up working overtime, you're going to have to pay them time and a half. All of a sudden you lost your total revenue. You lost your profits. You're just really providing a caregiver and not making any money from that. So you need to know also the laws and the regulations in your area as well. And so that's where we actually tell you guys that you need to be able to be put together a decent price structure for you. Now, here at Home Health Success Academy, um, we actually have our operations manual that actually helps you kind of calculate that. Um, and, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you give us a contact. We can definitely provide that for you. Um, that's available um, easily that you have to just contact us and you know so that's just my, my, my little insight in regards for payments right and and making sure um, that you figure out how much you should actually charge so like I'll give you a quick example in the Illinois area for our home care company you know we charge uh, between 27 and 29 dollars an hour right um, but we don't just provide caregiving services. We don't just provide homemakers. You know, we also provide a daily medication reminder because if our caregiver is not there 24-7, if they're not there every day, you know, if we're only providing, let's say, four-hour services or eight-hour services, what happens is all our patients, you know, gets a phone call in the morning at 9 o'clock, every single one of them, and everyone gets a phone call at, the, at, at 5 o'clock to remind them to take their medications. They get an automatic call from our company. And so that's that's a... Um, separate part that we do at Home Health Success Academy that we provide services for home care companies. If they want all their clients to be able to get a call on a daily basis or a text message, they can get that actually to remind them to take their medications. Remember, medications non-compliance is one of the biggest reasons why patients end up in the hospital. And we don't really want our patients going to the hospital because that's lost revenue for us. So, you know, by us telling a client or a referral sources, this is something that we do, it makes us different from other agencies. So it makes them make sense of why paying a little bit higher is better using our services. Another thing also that we provide, for example, is 
We provide free snow plowing. We plow the driveway of the clients. We plow the walkways of the clients if there is an inch or more snow during the winter time, right? And this is a service that we provide for free. Number one, it's, it helps prevent any falls. Uh, number two, it, it just clears the road and makes the family feel better so that the family doesn't have to go to their loved ones and, and plow it themselves if that ever happens. Because trust me, in the winter time, nobody wants to go out and go to somebody's house just to plow it and go back home, right? No one wants to go out to the cold. So by us providing these type of services, you know, it's something that we do more than even the franchise organizations, even the bigger companies, and allows us to be able to say, hey, this is why we why we actually have, you know, our company. This is why we actually do that. And what makes us different from them is that we provide more services, which at the same time is think about the Apple model, right? The, you know, for the Apple computers, you know, they have nicer computers. They provide, you know, a better experience. And so, uh, henceforth, they actually charge more than the typical average Acer Windows-based computers or Chrome-based computers, right? So, you know, how can you create perception of why your company is actually worth more? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to give, right? And so, that is one thing that you guys should start actually looking into a little bit more. So, let me see here. I'm trying, I'm trying to add more things as much as possible as I can. So, that's pretty much it. But, you know, all I can say is that I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you have any more questions, you know, we would love to hear from you guys. You know, make a comment down below. But here's the thing. If you want us to answer your questions, really, the best way to do it is just make a quick video, email it to us, and we would love to be able to answer any of your questions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Michael with Home Health Success Academy. Always understand that home health marketing is easy when you know what you're doing.